What is going on, everybody? Wrestling Podcast, the only podcast that is always, and I mean always, an instant classic by Casey, as usual, for 205 Live, 205 Live review. Um, I forgot about the show. I'm not gonna be, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. They ain't been promoting it like they usually do when they do the random little 205 Live with little background. Her on there talking about how you gonna beat Neville a couple weeks ago. Like I ain't seen that. I ain't, did they have that this week? Um, I don't, I don't think they did because usually they have like this big feud that they're promoting for that for the next night. But I don't remember them doing it this week. They had something with uh, Dom Dar on uh, SmackDown. I'm gonna be honest. I <laughs> okay. I, I didn't watch SmackDown, but of course Justin spoiled like U.S. title match for me, and I was like, "I, I hate you. You're the absolute worst. This is why you're not a real member." Got him, Rusty. Put a yeah. Uh, Review. Um, so for, for those who don't know, um, Chris Jericho lost. Oh. Yeah. True, which which I would like. It's not like I was surprised though. Like, yeah, I'm surprised about it. I like I kind of expected it, but I kind of just wanted to see it for myself too. Um, yeah, yeah. I, like I I expected him to lose, but let's jump into five live. We started. I like the uh, video package I started to show up with. Um, kind of reviewing everything. Um, it, it was a pretty good video package. Um, to start the show. Any, any thoughts on that video package? Uh, it was a video package, you know. There was, uh, was a bunch of videos. You are right about that. A pa- you know, package of videos compiled together for your viewing pleasure. I'm just trying to figure out this football team called the Blackhawks. Their uniforms are green and yellow, and their helmet has a cat on it. How, how they? How they? The Blackhawks, though. How that work though? Uh, I'm it's kind of like the Browns. <laughs> they get their colors is orange, yeah. and they get they they a helmet, yeah. an orange helmet on top of that. Like <laughs> it's like that, it's like that. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, but at least they have orange, you know, uniforms though, or brown uniforms. They 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 at least got that. <laughs> right, but aren't they like the alternate uniforms though? <laughs> like, nah, nah, they. The alternate ones are orange, I think. Okay. Uh, but we started out with TJP. Officially calling him TJP now. Um, just randomly. <laughs> just because. Um, <laughs> TJP versus Lince Dorado. I was like, where are they being Lince Dorado up from? <laughs> like, like, but for real, though. Um, <laughs> for some reason, every time I see Lince Dorado, it makes me think of it makes me question where Grand Metallic is. Because this man was the runner-up in the Cruiserweight Classic, and they like, we don't care. <laughs> They're like, um, so what? So I'm like, where he at, though? Like, where my boy Grand Metallic at? He was the runner-up, darn it. <laughs> but uh, I mean, you remember the, the winner of uh, Tough Enough? <laughs> True. Both of them. But anyway, th- this is a good match, though. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I thought both both of these two they work very well together, um, and uh, I, I felt like you know there, there was some high flying in this. Where was Drew Gulak at in this match though? <laughs> Where was he at though? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I like these the way these two work together. I, <clears throat> I like TJP because he 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 can kind of do it all. Uh, but Lince Dorado comes off as kind of like Lucha Libre. I still wish they would bring back the the styles. Um, from the Cruiserweight Classic. I, I thought that's kind of what made the, the division feel kind of much more, like, realistic and cool, I guess, from a wrestling fan standpoint, was, you know, there was so many different components to it. What are you doing? Anyway, but uh, <laughs> my, my dog's sniffing around for something. Um, Casey, in, any thoughts? Any thoughts on TJP versus Lince Dorado? TJP did win. 
Um, I, I'm I'm loving heel TJP though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go put her up because she's being weird. Wait, uh, I thought TJP did win. He did. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I, I think I said that. He did win. I was like, wait, wait. I, did we watch the same match? <laughs> <laughs> I oh man, you know, you know, I I, I like me some TJP. I do. I like him. He just doesn't, still doesn't feel like a heel to me. Like, I, I don't, d- d- no. Like, he, he do some bad things, but he just doesn't feel like a heel to me. Like, I, I, I don't know. Um, I think part of it is they haven't, like, changed his ring gear at all or, like, his character or his music or anything to make me realize that he's a heel. Bruh, like the WWE, you need to like change things about people if you're gonna change their character. You, it just, it you don't, it did, it don't work. Uh, also, I, <clears throat> I don't know if it, you're probably not even back, but I'm, a, I'm gonna say it anyway. I'm, a, are, you, are you back, DJ? DJ, 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 DJ. I'm just gonna keep saying until they come back, DJ, DJ. DJ, D- DJ, D- DJ, D- hello, 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 DJ, D- D- DJ, DJ. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm wait till, cause I got, I got things to say, uh, and he ain't back. But uh, but I, you know, I'm gonna get his his thoughts on on the on the things. So I'm gonna wait till he come back. I'm gonna get the thoughts on the things, and then we are gonna move on to the other things. So uh, we just going to wait. We're we going to wait on the DJ to come back. You know, we're going to wait. We're we going to wait on him to come back. You did watch the show. You know you can move on, right? Anyway. No, I wasn't even done. I, I want to get your thoughts on some things, too. Oh, okay. So I was, uh, yeah. I was waiting for you. Uh, but Okay. Thoughts on some, some stuff <laughs> and some things. I mean, d- 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 does TJP Potential. really feel like a heel to you? Because he doesn't to me. Like he just doesn't. I I don't get the. I don't. I, I, I don't get it. I don't I get think, the feel think, of. The feel. I think one of the issues is that they haven't really changed his character enough for for it to feel yeah. like. Yeah. You know, like it doesn't feel like they've like changed his character enough for him to feel like a heel or for him to, I guess, give off that heel vibe. That to me, I think, is the biggest issue. Yeah. Also, also, I I love how Lindsay Dorado means golden links. This man not even wearing any gold anymore. Like, <laughs> like, not, not even a little bit, like none. Um, but yeah, I really, I don't know. I wanted to like, I I wish they would, and we've said this in the in the past in past episodes. I just wish they would book all of the. 205 Live competitors better because, like, I wanted to get invested in this match, but I couldn't just because I knew who was going to win. Like, you you knew going into this match that TJP was going to win. So it's like I felt it it was hard for me to get invested into the match when I already know who's going to win. It just – it sucks. But um, it was definitely a good match, though, uh, with uh, the – white golden links and uh the heel tjp i did a quote you couldn't see it but you just imagine me doing the quote heel you know that, that you know I, I imagined it and you know I, I i felt it like i felt the the quotes i did i felt it. Well, good because so. i did i did a hard i did i did some hard quotes so you, you should have felt them yeah all right um, we had the uh, interview with Brian Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick, um, after this, which which I liked. Um, and Tazawa coming in, uh, he's talking about basically how he wanted to be, he wanted him to be his protege, and and how he kind of disrespected him. And then Tazawa came in um, <laughs> and interrupted the interview and beat him up, and basically said, "Lesson number five, um, lesson number five. What was the lesson, Casey? Do you remember the lesson? No, lesson number five. Always in interviews with a bang." Um, uh, I thought that was funny. Or an impact, I think is what he said specifically. Oh, but I mentioned an impact now. Oh, no, that's what it is. Uh, but 
I, I definitely liked it, though. Um, I think – I guess it kind of depends, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I guess it kind of depends on how invested in the storyline you are because I think the lessons thing is getting old just because it's the same thing over and over again. But then again, I, I, I still like it. So I don't, I don't know. Like, I guess it just depends on how you look at it. Uh, but Casey, thoughts on the Brian, the Brian Kendrick interview? Yeah, I kind of – I feel the same. Like, I like it to an extent, but it is getting old, and it's kind of like, where are they really going with this? Um, and also, I'm, you know, I'm wondering what – when they finish this feud, what are they going to do with these guys? You know, what is what are they going to do with Brian Kendrick? What are they going to do with Tazawa? Um, but uh, – I and also, are they – like, is this going to build up to a climax? Because I feel like we thought, you know – the feud was supposed to end a while ago and then it didn't, you know, but then WWE has been doing that where, you know, we think they go finish a feud and then they're like, Nope. Well, we I think that's the bad part about 205 live. It's like, it's hard to figure out when to finish them. If they're not going to put some of these other matches on the pay-per-views. Yeah. Cause why would they do that? <laughs> I mean, it would make sense considering the cruiserweight division is supposed to be this special thing to raw, but. You you see what one match from the division from the whole division, <laughs> like during the pay per views, like. <laughs> but, but next we had Mustafa Ali versus Drew Gulak. I loved this match. I love Drew Gulak now. Uh, I mean, I always liked him, but I think the no fly zone has really uh, kind of gotten me, you know, into him. I still think at times he comes off as kind of bland, like the. Um, not the after the match promo, but like the little promo that that little like um, picture in picture promo that they do from time to time. For some reason, he felt like he was kind of bland in this promo. I don't know if it felt like it was too scripted or what it was, but like for some reason, it felt a little bit bland. It may have been his facial expressions as well. But I mean, I, I definitely like it though. I, I like him um, <laughs> doing this whole no fly zone thing. I just wish, kind of like we said before. I want to see him do it with more people. Like, you can focus on Mustafa Ali, but still, like, we saw uh, Rich Swan and – we saw Rich Swan and uh, Noam Dar doing high-flying moves, and he didn't, like, even, like, come out or, like, pop on the Titan Tron or, like uh, – and even if they did something where he was, like, watching the match and he was just kind of, like, shaking his head, like, I, I mean, that I mean that's something subtle that they could do uh -huh. that still would work. Um, so. I, I wish they would – because I, I think he's he's good in the ring. I, I like watching him in the ring. I, I loved him in this match. Um, he works very well with Mustafa Ali as well. But I, I kind of want to see more from, from these two uh, and more from Drew Gulak attacking 205 Live and not just Mustafa Ali. Um, but I love the finish of this match when Mustafa Ali goes for the frog splash and Gulak gets the knees up and rolls him up. I like that because it like it hits right on the no fly zone type thing that he's doing with the unnecessary type stuff. That was nice. I, I really like that. But uh, Casey, thoughts on Drew Gulak versus Mustafa Ali? I Ali. <laughs> I Ali. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mustafa Ali. Um, yeah, I I, I like the match. Um, I I don't necessarily get the bland. Uh, aspect of like the things I just to me it certain aspects of this whole storyline feel like almost like an election type storyline and like bruh the election over we ain't gotta do this no more it it, it, it ended a long time ago but um I still think it's the back of that sign and show Bo Lee on the back of it because I know it is I know it's what it said <laughs> Yeah. Um, the only the only thing that's like, I, I just don't get the whole chant that he does. The uh, uh, I'm not lying. No high fly. What 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 did what did we think you was lying about though? I, I mean, I I didn't think you was lying, but what what do you think we thought you was lying about? I get the no high flying, but what why 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 you say no? You not lying. We we know you not lying. Um, but yeah, I definitely think you know. I would like to see him, you know, do this whole thing like, with the entire, you know, 205 Live and then kind of have, you know, 
uh, the the roster, not necessarily team up on him because I don't I don't want to see just a huge handicap match, but like have him week by week, you know, get you know get involved in uh, different matches and then build up to like different matches with him against you know these these high flyers um kind of like you said not just uh mustafa ali um and also i don't know if you got this but i and i think it is because they don't put as much or as many of these matches on pay-per-views as they should i i feel like this felt like this was like the climax of this kind of feud but it shouldn't have been like i feel like it should be built up to a pay-per-view but they're not going to do that because they don't put these matches on the pay-per-views which is stupid um but i don't know it just didn't feel like the right time to have this match like it didn't feel like the feud was built up enough um but yeah 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 all right um yeah yeah something else to say yeah 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 I was just saying, yeah, because you were saying, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to the main event, I I, I I, was asking Casey, is it bad that I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I watched the Noam Dar, Alicia Fox, Rick Swan uh, video package just to hear Noam Dar say Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox. Like, I, that was the main reason I watched it. <laughs> like, and, and, and I loved it. I, I, I love this man. But thoughts on the video package and the main event? Uh, I I just like the you know video package because we got to hear him say the Alicia Fox. Um, but yeah, I, I like the match. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard it, but Graves said something about like it's not like Noam Dar sent DMs on Instagram to people he shouldn't have, and I was like, oh. Uh, cause you know, <clears throat> snakes on a plane. That's all I'm saying. But uh, <laughs> I, I like that he that he said that. Um, but definitely a good match. I was confused as 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 anything at the end when Alicia comes out and they like back together, but like they didn't even say anything like "ha ha, we had you the whole time" or something like which would have made it make more sense. But like. <laughs> No, she just comes back out, and they're all, like, happy back to – I'm confused. It, it was like that Eli Drake Tyrus thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, like what? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on the uh, video package or the, the main event? <laughs> oh, I love the video package, obviously. Uh, oh, I love, love the video package. This match was amazing, though. I, I really liked it. I thought it was a really good match. I love Noam Dar. This man was like, he about 12, at least. Uh, <laughs> uh, he comes out. Even with a beard, he still looks like he's like 15 years old. So like, It's just so funny. But um, I, I really liked this match. I loved Rich Swan's leap onto the barricade into like the, the uh, leg drop. I loved that. I thought that was great. Um. But I, I just thought this match was really good, like really good match. Like I don't know if I was expecting anything less, but like from a from a feud, I guess that doesn't seem like the end of it's gonna go anywhere because <laughs> unless Rich, I mean, unless Noam Dar goes, like like unless Noam Dar ends up going after the title or something, like for a main event feud, it was kind of just a really good match, which is which is kind of surprising to me as far as like how this feud has been going, but. I, I love the match, though. I thought it was really good. I just don't know where this feud is going after it's over, like, especially considering it's in the main event spot. Like, Rich Swan's not going to win the title again, not right now at least. And I don't feel like – I don't know if they push Noam Dar enough for him to win the title yet. So, I mean, I can see him winning the U.K. title before I see him winning the Cleveland title right now. Yeah, I, I also kind of – expected or kind of wanted to see something with Cedric Alexander because they brought that up again too and I was like yeah I, like even yeah. Like, uh, like a side of him or something because uh, I don't know how you know how far back from his injury he is or whatever but yeah 
All right. Um, that was your 205 Live review for 5 2 2017. Um, I definitely think it was a good show. Um, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I just, I think, like we've always said with 205 Live, we, I think we want <laughs> there to be more of a peak for 205 Live, especially like at pay per views or something, because I think right now with the Cruiserweight division, I kind of wish it would be, I mean, I think it would be kind of cool if they had their own like special event, like just every once in a while. Maybe not even every other month, but like every like three or four months or something to have their own little special event on the network, like a weekend where there's not a takeover, um, maybe more there's not a pay-per-view. So then like the spotlight's on them because I think they have this show where the spotlight's on them, but then the pay-per-views, they kind of get snubbed, it feels like. I don't know if you have any thoughts on that or yeah. ideas for that. <laughs> I, I don't know. I kind of, in a way, I don't even like them. Like, I would like to see them just get their own, you know, special event. Because, um, I don't know, I still don't like, even on Raw, I still don't like seeing the Cruiserweights on Raw or pay for use just because I don't like that they have to change the ropes and the lighting and the everything. It just, it still feels too gimmicky to me. Like, you could, it's, it's not a problem on 205 Live, obviously, but... If you have to go out of your way to, you know, change everything to be like, this is the cruiserweight, blah, blah. Like, we, we know it's the cruiserweights. You don't have to, like, it just, I don't know. It, it, seem, it still seems excessive to me um, and kind of takes away from just a good match. Um, yeah. All right. Um, but uh, if you guys have any thoughts on the cruiserweight division and, like, where, I guess, where you would push it from, from here. Um, I, that might be one. I know we talked about one of those like fantasy booking type. Where would we book something right now? The cruiserweight division might be, <laughs> might be one of those. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited though. I want to see kind of what's going to happen with everything with the the cruiserweight division and everything. Um, because I, I like 205 Live, but I think it's missing something. On what it is. Like, it's missing something, though. So, But uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button for us. Also, give us a like if you liked the video. Give us a dislike if you didn't. If you're going to give us a dislike, tell us why you disliked it. Cause, or just don't. Uh, dislike. You don't. know, you can do that. You can do that. that that's uh, what we prefer. But some people be disliking, then they don't be telling you why they dislike. So we can't improve nothing. So we just be like, I think you just clicked the wrong button. And, then, you know, that's usually what it is, you know. You, you just got... Got yeah, finger happy and clicking the wrong button. It happens. But um, be sure to follow us on Twitter at ICW underscore podcast. We'll talk to you about anything wrestling, anything. Okay, some things, not Katie Vick, but but you know <laughs> most things. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was the two hundred five live review on the Instant Classic Wrestling Podcast, the only podcast that is always, and I mean always, and it's.